Hello everyone, Kieran Swill here, Tourism Innovation Specialist at Southern Riesland College. Today I want to talk to you about Kula, uh, which is a 360 platform that I've been using for the last couple of years. Uh, this is an easy way to get into creating a virtual tour. So I've been creating my virtual tours now with uh, this little camera, which is an Insta360 One. And here's my Insta360 pole that I use, which is an invisible selfie stick. Uh, I used to use a camera of the S and I've been using this for about the last four or five months been updated. So the 360 virtual tours have come into play a lot, uh, certainly in destination marketing and, uh, and in e-commerce as well, uh, a great way of showcasing your destination. And this example now that we're going to look at is one that I've been using last year for Bradley and I, but just like to highlight a couple of the features. I think Kula is certainly the best value for money on the market and in terms of pricing you can start off Kula actually free um, you have you've some uh, functionality with it uh, albeit limited if you want to really get into 360 tours in a big way but that gives you an indication I'm on the the pro one um, it's slightly gone up since the last time but it works out about 13 pounds a month say starting um, over the year 12 to 13 pounds a month um, I started off on the basic which you all could start off. Great way of getting into 360 tours. Um, so this is my own account, and uh, there's lots of support with the Kula uh, and tutorials, and I find it relatively user-friendly. I don't find it too difficult uh, to, 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 to get around. Um, so I guess the first thing when you have taken your 360 photographs on your camera is to upload them from your camera into the tour. Uh, and the Kula provides you with uh, advice to, as to how to do that. Um, so there, follow the simple steps about, uh, first of all, sorry if I scroll back there, uh, uploading your photographs, uh, then you're creating and building the tour. And I think for 360 tours, they come alive when you have hotspots, either as audio or uh, video. And this is what makes them interactive. So with the 360 tours, you can do that and there's lots of examples here uh, and then they have also the ability to share your tour and you can share this on your social channels but also share it uh, on your website so here's a quick example that we did for bradley and i uh, last year and um, we worked with Aideen, the manager there who was a past student of ours so there as you can see is their logo and um, there's a welcome video from Aideen, uh just at the door you see you create these little arrows we're going to go in and then you can see this is all just being created where do you want to go the study the kitchen the second floor and up through well let's just go into the kitchen and uh let's yeah we'll look around the kitchen very good oh what's at the back um so here we are and here we have a video as well explaining what's coming let's have a quick play on that this links up to youtube and uh Aiden here is talking about the uh the the backyard itself um and what's available there Closed safe back guard here with your shed behind me. We have back garden space, and then to the to the left we have a, a garage. So the garage at the end here. That's part of the property as well. You can use the storage. You can park your car on it, and it's also accessible for your utilities for your your own uh, Okay, so you've got a strip of garden that can be used for market garden, or you can um, lawn it, or even just somewhere for the kids to play. So that was all used, you know, just we just created that with a, a mobile phone. Uh, and we just go out and see where this hour is going to take us. Uh, it's the walkway that Aiden was describing there. Uh, and up you get a, a rear view, a rear view of the house. Um, and then that's up, so probably, that'll take us back, take us back down again. So, um, you know, the this is a very, very simple example, albeit uh, we'll go back into the kitchen now. Um, uh, oh yeah, so there's something, you know, you can have the thing about 360 tours is you can make them interactive. There's a nice little video promoting Yuri. So hopefully that gives you a flavor of 360 tours. I like Kula because it's very user friendly. Thanks very much.